Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring Sukuna or Kokuna by Samati. As you can see, this is one of the most colorful, creative, as well as practical home screens that you will probably ever see. It's got all these amazing icons opening up our tools, social media, as well as our communication at the bottom that can open up our phone, as well as our browser, etc. So you want to know how to recreate? this amazingly artistic creative home screen well i'll be bringing you a tutorial going step by step in order to create this amazing home screen i have provided links on the side over here so that you can skip to whichever part that you would like to watch let us begin okay first things first we're going to be opening up our nova launcher you can also do this in apex launcher but nova launcher is just something just a little different once you open up nova launcher you'll want to change a few settings in the settings menu so we'll go to the bottom and say Nova settings. We'll go to desktop. Now desktop grid, as you can see, I've got a seven by nine, but you'll want to change that. You'll want to get that first by, by holding down the volume button for two or three seconds. And as you can see doing that, we'll bring up our labs at the bottom. Selecting, first you select labs, and then you want to select big grid size options for some massively massive desktop grid sizes. Stand back guys, this is about to get ugly. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, what you'll want to change it to is a seven by nine, not a nine by seven, a seven by nine. All right, we go okay. Our width margin, we want none. Our height margin, we want none. Home screens, we only want one home screen. Dock, we want to disable the dock. And finally, you don't want to show the notification bar. So we'll just want to hide everything, basically. Once that's done and all set up, we'll want to change our wallpaper to the one like this. So we'll go wallpaper. I just always use quick pick, so simple. And you want to look for the one that he has, Samati has provided in the link. So we'll just tap that. And we'll just click save. No need to resize or anything. And it'll appear like this. How amazing. Next we'll add is our UCCW widget at the top, which is also provided in the link. So we'll hold down, choose widgets, and we want our UCCW. As always, we want, a, for this one, we want a four by one. Don't change it to anything else. This might get a little crazy. And then go open use up to the one that here has provided us. So we'll choose a Sukuna Kukuna, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Like that, we'll tap it, and now we just need to resize it all the way to that side and all the way to that side. Fits in perfectly. Finally, we'll be animating or making these application icons and communication icons open some of these that we want. So let's say, for example, you want to open something in media. We'll hold down and choose apps. I like mobile player, so I'll choose mobile player. And as you can see, it's got the icon. So we just want to change that to a blank PNG or blank icon. So we'll choose edit, tap that, tap gallery, tap quick pick if you want. And we want a blank PNG, like the one, prov don't worry, one will be provided. And we click OK, and as you can see, it has disappeared. So now when you tap media, it opens up like that. All, simply, all you have to do now is do them for the rest. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, folks. I'll be back tomorrow for another great Android home screen tutorial. Thank you very much, guys.